hi guys welcome back to my channel vlog talk where we vlog and talk and i pray that you guys are having a fantastic day hallelujah jesus is lord we're going to just get right into prayer and then we're going to get right into into ministering this word let us pray thank you father god let's just give him the praise whether we feel like it or not let's do a uh, what you call kalas to strike through in the hebrew means to strike through so strike through sometimes you got to praise your way through thank you father hallelujah in the name of jesus and we plead the blood thank you father in the name of jesus hallelujah now lord bless each and every individual that is tuning in right now all over the world father god in the u.s and in the uk god hallelujah i plead the blood over their lives and their family lives hallelujah and it is well with them i also thank you father god in the name of jesus thank you father god for using me father god to deliver this incorruptible seed father god to many nations that will never forget your name let something be said in me and through me that may leap in their wounds causing them to never be the same in Jesus name. Amen. So our title for today is prosperity. Prosperity. Hallelujah. Prosperity. This is actually going to be a series from today all the way until Friday. We're going to be talking about prosperity until God interferes. Tell me, hey, Latoya, do something else. I want you to talk about healing. Then I'll do healing. But until then, I'm really sensing that the people need prosperity. People need wholeness, right? Hallelujah. And so our, coming from the text of 3 John 1 and 2, God says that his will is for us to prosper and be in heaven health even as our soul prosper hallelujah and all i want you guys to know is god wants you whole nothing missing and nothing broken and i remember when this is all happened last year isn't this something but you know what not only did this particular story that i'm about to tell happen last year not only did this happen last year, right before the pandemic hit, but it happened the year after that, the year after that, and the year after that, it was like a domino effect. This poverty, this, I'm talking this strictly in the financial arena. I will be working and everything, but when I get my check, where is the money? They took out so many taxes of my check. And so in fact, last year, this was right before the pandemic hit. I remember getting a call from my landlord who I had never spoken to because I will always speak directly to the property manager, not the landlord, but the landlord called me and said, Latoya, you are one of the ones that is on the eviction list. What are your plans? And I told him, well, I do have a YouTube channel and I'm believing in God for you know, money to bless me, you know, whether it be through my channel or whether it be through my books or whether it be through any other source hallelujah i told him that i'm also an author so i'm looking for the financial help maybe in one of those or both of those areas but i just have faith overall that if it's not in those areas it's going to come some way so if it don't come from the east it may come from the south if it don't come from the south it may come from the west hallelujah but it is coming and i remember uh telling him that i'm confident that the money is on its way. I'm confident. Now, I didn't know where this money was going to come from. But I did remember that I was a tither. And then God say, bring ye all tithes into the storehouse that there will be meat in your house. Hallelujah. So I remembered that. And I wanted to tithe, not doing it to get God to do something, but tithing as a positive response to it already being done. So prior to my conversation, talking to the landlord, I told him that I was confident and he didn't want to hear anything spiritual or anything like that. Right. He just wanted me to say that I have the money in my hand. I hadn't had the money in my hand physically. Amen. Long story short, I hung up the phone just as confident as if I already had the money in my hand because I believed that God's will is for me to prosper. God's will is for me not to be broke. Hallelujah. God's will is for me to prosper and be in health. God has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. At the end of that conversation, do you know, not even a day later, the money showed up in my account? 
because I put a demand on the father. God has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. According to Psalms 35 and 27, God has pleasure in us prospering. That's what that means. So when we prosper in healing and prosper in soundness and prosper in deliverance and prosper in every area of our life, then God gets the glory. He takes pride in that. He takes pleasure in that. Hallelujah. God is satisfied with that. Hallelujah. God rejoices. The Bible says that God rejoices when he see his children walking in the truth. Hallelujah. And the truth is, God doesn't want us broke. God doesn't want us poor. So when I'm talking about prosperity, I'm not talking about just money because prosperity is nothing missing and nothing broken. Prosperity is wholeness. Amen. Touching back on Psalms 35 and 27. God has the pleasure and the prosperity of his servant. The Bible says, let us shout for joy and be glad because of the favor that his righteousness has caused us. As we continuously say, oh, magnify the Lord because he has pleasure in us, the prosperity of his servants. And we are his servants. We are his workmanship. We are his sonships. We are his joint heirs. We are his ambassadors. Hallelujah. We have been adopted under under the Godship, hallelujah, under the blood of Jesus Christ. If you have that, say amen. God freely gives us to us all things according to 1 Timothy 6 and 17. Hallelujah. So God freely gives us all things, right? How do we get this uh, healing? How do we get this deliverance? How do we get this abundance of money? How do we get this abundance of wisdom? Hallelujah. How do we attract the right spouse, a high quality God-fearing spouse? Well, how do we attract that? Well, according According to Matthew 6.33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and he will add all of these things unto thee. Now, that is what the Father has said. Hallelujah. That we have to seek him first. Hallelujah. So we learned that. Well, what else can we do? Well, according to Genesis 26, 12 and 33, Isaac sold in his land. Oh my God, it's going back to Malachi. He sold the seed in his land. Whether it be financially, whether it be a word of encouragement, whether it be giving something away, it's all a seed. But when we're talking about finance, then we have to sow in order to reap. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible said. That's biblical. Google that. The Bible says that Isaac sold in his land and received in the same year a hundredfold hallelujah and then he had possessions of flocks cattle and sheep asses man and maid servants and the philistines envied him the philistines are the young believers hallelujah they, they're gonna envy you as you begin to sow your seed sow your seed of praise hallelujah not just money but sow your seed of praise praise god for your healing and healing will manifest praise god for your spouse and he or she will manifest hallelujah sow 10 percent in tithes and offering hallelujah and you will see the glory of God show up in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek him. Hallelujah. Get adopted under his wing, under his workmanship. Become one of his sons. Hallelujah. And the sonship in the family. And you're going to have all of these things added on to thee. If you have that, say amen. Unbelief will affect the blessing. Let's talk about some of the things that will affect the blessing. It is unbelief. Remember the Philistines envied Isaac. Why did they envy Isaac? They envy Isaac because they felt like, who are you? Who do you think you are to attract all the riches and glory? Who do you think you are? How is it that you can prosper and we don't have anything? Well, that's because he stepped out on faith and sold in this land. He remembered that God wants him to prosper and be in health, even as his soul prospered. And according to Hebrews 3 verse 19, it talks about the unbelief that they couldn't enter in because of the unbelief. So the Philistines couldn't enter in because of unbelief. How many unbelievers you know can't enter into the rest in order to attract God's best? Hallelujah. In order to be prosperous, nothing missing and nothing broken. Hallelujah. Another thing is prosperity gives us access to the promise. Prosperity gives us access to the promise. That's in Hebrews 4 and 1. As a matter of fact, if you have your Bibles, I'm going to give you a minute to go there. Please I'm going to go ahead and read it from the NIV. It says, therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it don't fall short of entering into the rest in order to gain access unto the promise don't let your faith fall short because if your faith give out 
then there's going to be a problem with your manifestation and we don't need that we can't afford that right now you got to keep the faith in order to stay in the rest in order to attract god's best in order to be prosperous and in health even as our soul prosperous having nothing missing and nothing broken hallelujah so because i believe that i received all the finished works of jesus i began to have a rest as i began to tell the landlord hey i don't listen i didn't tell him i didn't know i said i believe that everything is worked out in fact i'm confident that the money is on its way hallelujah i'm confident i'm not putting my trust in my youtube channels and my book that i wrote hallelujah i'm not putting my trust in any of these things i put my trust in the most high god and that's who i was believing and leaning on and that's who i'm currently still believing and leaning on hallelujah do you understand me because i believe that god's will is for me to prosper hallelujah to have nothing missing and nothing broken even as my mind prospers so as a man think it and his heart so is he that's what the bible says hallelujah and so because I would begin to release my authority, I began to see the manifestation show up in my life. Hallelujah. I began to take that money and pay my tithes with that money, then pay my rent and my utilities and get some food in the house and anything else I needed. Hallelujah. I am complete in the Father. So therefore, now I have in the natural nothing missing and nothing broken. Hallelujah. Because God's will is for me to prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. I trusted that you enjoyed this teaching and I want to ask that you hit that notification bell so that you can be updated on each time I post a video. I want to ask that you also like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to do my virtual altar call. If you desire to have nothing missing and nothing broken in your life, I want to ask that you get into the kingdom. With that being said, if the rapture would be coming today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? If the answer is no or I don't know, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you now, just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day hallelujah glory glory and glory well you are saved i'm going to speak to you the human spirit you are you transferred by the renewing of your mind you are delivered you are set free and most importantly you are prosperous now i'm going to speak to you the human spirit open up your bibles and find out more about who you are in the lord and also begin to give god the praise hallelujah for what he's done and what he's already manifesting in your life and you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost praise god for who he is also amen i'm going to close us out in prayer let us pray Baka hayoro pleke hayoro shi maka hayoro kle hayoro sti make le hayoro sti baka hayoro sti blehe ke hayoro sti baka hayoro shi maka hayoro kle hayoro sti make hayoro sti baka hayoro shi maka hayoro shi blehe ko hayoro shi baka hayoro shi. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen, and Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel Vlog Talk, and it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk.